Okay, a little bit of a layout for some range time. We're not super practiced at this, but just wanted to show you what we got. So Eli is going to take the uh, 5.56 rifle with uh, about 90 rounds in the bandolier. He's loading some up over there. We each are going out with the Go Rucks. We're going to put the supplies in there. Got How much weight you got in here? 20. Got a 20 pound weight in there. I got a 45 pound weight in mine. I might knock out a 45 minute workout after the range, but I'm taking the 762, the Savage bolt action. It's got a Vortex sight on it. That Got that on paper the other day. Jude is gonna take his Glock 19 out there. You found the staple gun? Good. He's gonna take the Glock 19 out there only, not a rifle because he's driving the skid steer out to the range. You got anything on your hip? Mm -hmm. Let me see it. Nice. And you already checked the status, didn't you? Mm -hmm. So we got the uh, range box here. Got a bunch of larger targets, some ammo that we're gonna shoot today. Gun oil, a couple pairs of earring protection earmuffs some more ammo mags toilet paper because i'm just feeling like i might need it got our shooting supports tripod and jude's gonna take this box out for us while eli and i ruck with our rifles see you on the range Just a normal day, big deal. Well, didn't make it very far. We're just talking about how long it's gonna take Jude to get tired of driving that thing. Probably a little while. About to go by the house site. Hopefully that changes a lot this year. Permits are in. Engineering's back. Trust design's complete. We marked all the corners and everything. Spray painted the footings, but they had a couple heavy rains, so the paint's gone. Glad we put all the flags in where we did. It's been about five minutes. Still no sign of Jude getting bored with that. So nothing super fancy. It's just the old pallet with a root propping it up and then some staples bought a big whole bundle of those targets a while back so we're gonna i know the m4 is pretty close to zero and then i got the rifle on paper when i was out here the other day so might try to do a group at 100 and see what happens well the 100 meter line is right in the middle of a stream bed. So I'm gonna have Jude bring this skid steer around and we're gonna create a alternate shooting platform. Redneck alternate shooting positions here in a second. Yeah. Okay. Yep, you're good. I'm gonna try to get that group a little bit tighter. Zero is pretty close. Okay. I want the barrel to go towards the target there. This is like a turret. Yeah. <laughs> you want me to turn this way? Yep, turn to the right. Thank <laughs> you. 
shoot like this next time too. Besides not having to lay in this marsh, we also realized that this essentially captures our brass for us. So we're pretty, pretty much zeroed now. The last shots I took, I could see those three. I shot all three of those, so I went ahead and dialed down and I shot those four right there, the last four that I shot. So I'm gonna call that good. I'm about 100. Eli moved him right a little bit, so tighten it up over time. Now we're gonna shoot some pistol. bit on the seven yard line while Jude makes progress on the range. We're gonna push all these trees out so we have a wider 25 yard line into this berm right here. So we have more shooters on the line for pistol than rifle for the final version of this. Jude really wanted to be the one to push this tree over. Try recovering it back on target before you drop it back down. So you're practicing being able to take a second shot quickly, okay? All right, good. That was a good day. Trying to keep up. Sorry. 